two sets down, pose high volume. Once you get good at your body weight reps, throw some weight on, try to hit those high numbers. None of y'all stopping me, don't need the axe, chopping trees, planting seeds, planting schemes, crossing eyes, starting T's, lines are blurred, I cannot see, for I die, I'm top three, for I die, I'm top three, for I die, look, this is the moment I waited, I took all my options and weighed them. What's good, YouTube? You're back with the Prez, out here in Juniper Park today. And today we're going back to another one of those old school classic calisthenic routines. Real basic style today, reps and sets. We got the 15 pound kettlebell and it's gonna be another one of our 10 set workouts. So today we're gonna be working chin up grip. I've told you guys many times the importance of working chin ups. Everything with calisthenics, all the tournaments, everything's always pull up grip, pull up grip, pull up grip, right? And being in that same plane of motion, always pulling in the same repetitive motion is gonna eventually cause damage and injury in the elbow. And the best way to negate that and to work to offset that is to work opposite pulling range of motion, chin up grip. So just to keep the bicep tendons healthy and strong, because remember, chin up grip is gonna actually use more biceps. So it's gonna allow you to strengthen the bicep tendon more effectively than pull ups in itself. So when you're doing those heavy weighted pull ups, right, you're more primed to go injury free when lifting those heavy weights. So again, another classic routine, 10 sets. We're doing 10 second chin up hold, but we're gonna start with a 10 second dead hang first, 10 second hold over the bar, right into 20 dips, all with the 15 pounds, 10 rounds right now. Retract first. Fully lock out, right into 20 dips. So guys, these are supersets. Right after the 10 second chin up hold, we're going right into dips, weighted with the 15 pounds. 20 reps a clip. And remember, we're working antagonist muscle groups. Pull, push. The back and the chest are antagonist muscle groups. The biceps and the triceps are antagonist muscle groups. Antagonist means opposite. So when we're in the pull motion, our push muscles are generally at rest. When we're holding that chin up hold, our biceps are flexed, our triceps are stretched. Same goes when we're in the dips, the pull muscles get a Round break. One, rest two to three minutes. Tops right now, nine more sets. Let's get it. Let's go. Set two. So remember, before every set, we're dead hanging. And the reason why we're dead hanging is one, it's going to stretch out, lengthen the working muscles, the lats, the biceps, and the bicep tendons. And then before we get into that pull, we retract our scapula for a perfect rep. Then we pull chin over the bar, squeezing our shoulder blades back. Squeezing our biceps, really holding, maintaining that perfect line. Go. Straight from there, right to the dips. So again, like I said, this really helps you enable your work capacity. Going from push to pull in one set, you're getting a higher amount of volume in, in one given set. Heart rate gets up, the intensity is elevated throughout the whole movement. So great way to again, increase your reps, increase your endurance in the bar, and increase your work capacity overall. Two sets down, pose high volume. Once you get good at your body weight reps, throw some weight on, try to hit those high numbers. Work the endurance with added weight. It's only gonna make you stronger when trying to lift for your max weight. Let's go, eight more sets. Let's get it guys, set three.
go, 20 dips. And in between every set, which I'm not showing you guys, I'm gonna show you now with their own legs. So. So here you're gonna see, right after I've been hitting my 20 dips during my rest period, I decided to throw some leg work in. I kept the 15 pound kettlebell strapped on and I went into 10 body weight squats, not locking out, keeping tension, and then straight from the 10, five body weight jump squats with the 15 pounds. Then you're gonna see we also add some step ups in too. So we really blew up our legs just to keep that endurance aspect up, the heart rate up. And again, so now we're hitting pull, push, and then lower body. The blood is really flowing throughout the whole body right now, really elevating the heart rate, really increasing the intensity of the workout in terms of how hard the sets are gonna be, right? How fast and how many, how little break periods we're taking. So, you guys don't gotta throw the legs in. It's really a push-pull routine. I feel like doing a little more full body into it, be a little more intense. So I'm throwing in those leg sets every round. So chin-ups, dips, legs, 10 sets, let's go. All right, guys, this is set nine. You guys know I don't like to film all 10 sets to make the video too boring and repetitive for you guys. We still got another routine after this. So show you guys sets nine and set 10, let's go. Legs. Let's go. So every leg set, I pretty much started it a little bit different. This set you're gonna see, I started with an isometric hold first. I went down to 90 degree hold and then I went into my 10 body weight squats just to increase the intensity because the 15 pound is pretty light for me. Then I, again still right into five jump squats after the 10 body weight. So we're really overloading the quads, working on those type two explosive muscle fibers as well as the type one endurance fibers by keeping the set longer and longer and working on these holds. So we're really benefiting all the muscle fibers doing this type of routine. Let's go. 
Always ending with them step ups. And now you're gonna see here I'm on the highest peg. So the higher the surface that you're stepping up on, the harder the exercise, you're gonna be getting a deeper range of motion. So for beginners, I recommend starting on a low surface and as you get stronger and stronger and more stable in the unilateral movements and you can stabilize that lockout, then you can start working on higher surfaces and as you guys can see, right's my right's stable. always a little unstable compared to the left. Got to really squeeze. Work on that knee and ankle stability. Let's go guys, one more round. All right, let's go guys. 10th set, told you. You guys seen set one, two, three, nine, ten. 10. We got one more routine to go. Let's get it. Last 20, this makes 200 dips. So one other thing I want to mention about why I decided to throw legs in at the end of the routine also. Throwing the leg routine after you're hitting the pull and the push is going to also help facilitate recovery for the upper body. The main focus of this session was pull, push, strength and endurance. The legs was just a bonus add-in. So be by being able to hit those legs in between each set, we're now throwing the blood from the top of our body, having it rush down to the lower body. That's helping facilitate recovery in the upper body muscles. So you're actually a little more fresh when you go into the next sets for the pull push. The sets itself get harder because the intensity is, is higher now that we're throwing in the legs, the heart rate gets higher, the set gets longer. You take your sufficient break, by the time you get back to your pull push, your muscles are a little more recovered. And here you're going to see we did something different when we started off with legs. We went into an isometric hold, then we exploded off single limb. So we jumped off our right limb, then our left limb, working on single leg explosiveness from the squat position. Then we went into, again, probably 10 bodyweight squats here. And this was just a burnout set for the legs. All right, guys. That was the first routine of the day. Told you, old school basics, reps and sets. You guys want to get better, practice the same movements over and over. Get stronger with them at body weight. Get strong with them with weighted sets. Start being able to rep, weight for reps. It's only 15 pounds. We hit 10 sets of 20 unbroken dips. Granted, two, three minute rest periods, but still relatively easy. Work up your body weight capacity doing these push pull supersets. Going from a pull to a push, they're gonna be working 
antagonist muscle groups. Remember, antagonist meaning opposites. Chest and back are antagonists. Shoulders and uh, chest, antagonists. They're opposite muscles. Right? Actually, shoulders and chest would be synergist. They're both pushing. They help each other. They assist each other. Biceps and triceps, antagonist muscle, right? So practice these routines. It's going to really elevate the heart rate. It's going to help you build up that endurance, build up that stamina. And you're going to get that cardiovascular aspect of training without having to run or do laps and stuff like that. So 10 rounds done. we got one more routine to go. This is classic pull-push training. Let's get it. All right, guys. 10 rounds of weighted pull-push supersets done, right? We were working isometric chin-up holds, repping dips. So we had a nice isometric hold with that supinated grip. Now we got five more sets to go. We're still gonna be working pull push supersets, but now we're gonna go back into our pull-up grip. Now we're only doing five sets of this because we've majority always trained pull-ups, and this is gonna be a body weight routine. This is gonna be classic five-minute drill, except we're not gonna hit it 50 straight 100. We're gonna do it five rounds, 10 pulls, 20 push-ups, try to hit it all unbroken as fast as possible. Strict form for the pull-ups and pushes. So 10, 20, five sets back to back to back to back to back. Let's go. The time it on my stopwatch right now. Actually, I'm not, but whatever. I'll time it on the, on the phone. Ready, one, two, You guys are gonna see every pull up rep, I come to full lockout, really retract before I do the pull each rep, really trying to control these reps, keep them as clean and strict as possible. Alright, here you're going to see getting into the second round of my 10 pull-ups. Of course, like always, the phone overheats right now. Alright guys, so saw so mid-set 2, phone overheated. It's not even that hot out. You guys know I got the camera, the camera's holding charging, so I don't got the camera, I use the phone. So overheated mid-set 2, I let it cool off. 3 and set 4, I done, set's done. Last set guys, set 5. Remember, this is the 5 minute drill, I'm taking it slow. I'm way over the five minute mark right now. I'm not trying to exhaust myself, just getting the reps in. Let's go. Moving into the floor now, guys. I ain't doing them on the bar. Floor sets. Look, we got mom here, jumping rope right now. She's doing some sets too. So guys. Look, that's a wrap for the full routine. Total 15 sets. 10 sets weighted with the 15 pound kettlebell. 10 second chin up isometric hold. 
20 dips for the first 10 rounds. Then we dropped the weight and we went to pull up grip, working a classic five minute drill, but not 50 pulls, 100 pushes straight. We broke them up, 10 pulls, 20 pushes, five rounds, taking our time, not trying to do it in five minutes or less, just getting the reps in. 15 rounds, basic, classic calisthenic routine. Practice the sets and reps, get good at them, get stronger. Try this routine out, guys. Tag me, don't forget. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Share, leave a comment. Peace out. Bar Naturals. And they all love to talk, you know they do that shit the most. Think you on my level, boy, but you ain't even close.